Everyone out there in Facebook land, I am Anita D. Anita D. Francesco. I'm broadcasting to you live, Coaching Club Cafe Live, uh, on my Tantra Wisdom page here. Um, today, um, somehow I couldn't get onto the Coaching Club Cafe Live link, so we're broadcasting from Philadelphia here. And uh, my theme is. Um, Discover joyous love, and today our topic is going to be le uh, loving without boundaries, and how is that possible, and how do you get there? So you're listening to Coaching Club Cafe Live. I am Anita D, and you're here at my Tantra Wisdom site. I am a, a sex love coach, a relationship coach, and a Tantra Wisdom teacher, and my background is in uh, psychology and uh, working with people, couples, and individuals in opening up emotions and learning how to be more present with yourself, learning how to open up those those paths that keep you locked in boundaries. Now, let's talk about boundaries. In boundaries, we have unhealthy boundaries and we have healthy boundaries. So let's start with the unhealthy boundaries. The unhealthy boundaries <clears throat> are things such as... Um, you have fears, you have you have jealousy, you have insecurities. And a lot of these walls come up when you're in a relationship with someone because we're afraid to um, you, to let our guard down, so to speak. Now, having um, loving without boundaries doesn't mean that you let your guard down completely or you let people walk on you or take advantage of you. But what it actually means is, <clears throat> excuse me, what it actually means is that you let go of the fears a little bit more or you start trusting yourself. So the work is within yourself. You have to do the work on yourself first in order to find that freedom that leads you into the healthy relationship. Because when you put the walls up, you're confronted with your own fears, you're confronted with <clears throat> your own fears, your own insecurity, spiritual insufficiencies that get in the way of romance, that get in the way of long-term relationships, that get in the way of healthy sexuality. And these walls continually build up over time and create layers and patterns within your body. So what happens is when you have the walls there, you can, you can love, but you're, you're loving with fear. So what I would like to share with you today is to teach you how to open up your heart. And first, we want to work on ourselves. To open the heart, we need to address the different things that live within our body. We need to look at ourselves and say, what is it that we're afraid of? Is, it, is the things in life uh, being carried into the relationship? You're listening to Coaching Club Cafe Live. I'm Anita D. I'm here on Mondays, 10 a.m. We're on my site right now, Live Tantra Wisdom. My page, I'm the founder of Tantra Wisdom. Um, and uh, we are here this morning. Uh, <clears throat> where um, Our theme is uh, Discover Joyous Love is my theme, but my uh, topic for today is uh, Loving Without Boundaries. So, that being said, some people get confused with unconditional love, thinking that, you know, when you love unconditionally, you don't have boundaries. Unconditional love and loving without boundaries are two completely different things. Unconditional love means you're loving without expectation. You know, if, if, if your partner gets sick, you will still love them. You're not going to leave them because they're sick. Or, or um, if they have challenging situations in their life. And, you know, so you're loving unconditionally. You're just loving. And getting on the topic of love is what I really wanted to talk to you about today. <clears throat> The topic of love is, do we actually know what love is? I mean, love is a phenomenon. It's something that we either understand or we think it's desire. We think it's pleasure. We think it's all of those things moving into um, pleasing oneself. But love is something that is way deeper than that. It's trusting the heart. It's an embodiment. It's something that's not really emotional. <clears throat> For example, um, understanding boundaries. We have to understand our weaknesses. We have to understand, are we being overgiving in a relationship? What, our, what are our weaknesses? So coming back into 
understanding where you're coming from with the fears and the challenges that you may have going forward and going deeper in a relationship. Um, So loving without boundaries is our topic for today. Letting go of the fears and jealousy so that you can love more deeply. You always need a healthy boundary though. There's always that part of you that comes back to yourself. That relationship, that strong relationship to you is where you wanna always go back to. No one should get in that space except you and your higher power are held within that space to where you come back to so that you can deliberate with yourself. You can have conversation with yourself. You can intuit with yourself and move forward into whatever it is that you need to move forward into. Um, So we do, having personal boundaries is part of your strength. Having boundaries of fear and jealousy is, uh, is part of the weaknesses in you. And so they're the things that I want you to look at for this week. Uh, So going back to love, what is love? Desire isn't, and all of these different emotional challenges are just subcategories of love. So what that means is um, to find love, we need to be free of desire. And this is what we teach in Tantra. Good morning to all of you out there listening. Uh, I'm Anita D, Anita D. Francesco from Coaching Club Cafe Live. Uh, We're on my Tantra wisdom page here, and we are talking about loving without boundaries being free from desirous need love is an embodiment for example having having um this embodiment this feeling that's capturing who you are within your being good morning everyone out there and um loving without without fear Loving without the boundaries is loving without fear. And so that's all I would really want you to work on for today, this week, is to learn how to let go of these things that you think are love, desire, passion, intimacy, um, having to fulfill a need, wanting that pleasure of completeness, which none of that is really love. Love is an embodiment, it is coming from the heart, and it is coming from your higher power. It is a being, it is part of your being. But it is something that we have to learn because it's part of the higher power. <clears throat> so, good morning everyone out there. I'm Anita DeFrancesco, Anita D here at uh, Tantra Wisdom and Coaching Club Cafe Live. We're talking about loving without boundaries. So without love and that sense of beauty, there is no virtue. And you know very well that do what you will, improve yourself. You will only be creating more mischief if you don't have love. So in other words, if you don't embody love, you will, if you, in other words, what I want you to do is remove the hate and embody love so that you can be free from desire. And when you embody love and let go of hate, Hate only breeds desire, but when you're free of hate, or if you work toward being free from hate, you will only be what love is. Let's see what else I have for you here today. Um, So thinking outside of your consciousness, thinking outside of the field of thought, opening up to this place of acceptance, this place of aloneness, this place that brings you to your power. Moving away from seeking, pursuing, wanting. That is not love. Love is connecting. Love is being. All of those all of those things are subcategories of love or needs, but they certainly aren't what we call the trueness of love. The trueness of love begins with letting go of your hate. Fear is not love. Dependence is not love. Jealousy is not love. Possessiveness and obsessiveness and domination are not love. Responsibility and duty are not love. Self-pity is not love. The agony of being loved is not love. 
Love is not the opposite of hate any more than humility is the opposite of vanity. So if you can eliminate all these, not by forcing them, but by washing them away as the rain washes the dust of many days from a leaf, then perhaps you will come upon this strange flower which man always hungers after. So without the boundaries, remember, it's all about the fear. Good morning, everyone out there. I'm broadcasting to you live from Philadelphia. I'm Anita Francesco, Anita D, and we are on my Tantra Wisdom page, but Coaching Club Cafe Live, we are doing a 99 cents per minute special today on Cyber Monday for the next 24 hours where you can go to the Coaching Club Cafe Live website and you can uh, go there and find the information to call me and we can work up a counseling session on the phone. Okay, coming back to loving without boundaries. So how do you hold that space for your partner? If your partner is is someone that needs more nourishment, needs more attention, how do you hold that space for your partner? Are you available? Are you present? So loving without boundaries is also being present for the person. Good morning and welcome. Hello everyone out there in Facebook land. I'm Anita D and we are here coaching Club Cafe Live and uh, also Tantra Wisdom. We're on my Tantra Wisdom page here and we're talking about loving without boundaries. So one of the things I find in a relationship is this balance of giving and receiving and sometimes I find that I may be over giving to the partner and feeling like that I'm letting my partner walk on me, but this isn't the case if you have healthy boundaries. So understanding that you have a boundary, but it's not a wall. And when you can come to this, that means you're opening your heart to more love. Let me see what else I have here for you today. We're just going to talk another few minutes and uh, knowing your weaknesses. Mm, Let's see here. Good morning again, back here. Okay, so we're just going to wrap it up right now and uh, keeping in mind that it's all about letting go of the hate and the judgment. So if you have a lot of judgment in your relationship toward your partner, that means you're um, not, you're loving with boundaries because hate is a boundary and hate doesn't keep you connected. It keeps you separated. So if you want to move deeper into your relationship and further connect with your partner, then you would need to work on yourself a little further so I can help you with that. And you can give me a call at Coaching Club Cafe Live and we can go through some of the uh, pointers on helping you to work toward um, expressing yourself deeper, opening up to a higher power, letting go of the fears, opening up to your emotions. Okay, and thank you very much for tuning in. I've been your host here broadcasting live from Philadelphia. I'm Anita D. And have a wonderful day. Coaching Club Cafe Live. You can reach us there right here on Facebook. And this is also I'm Tantra Wisdom.